students welcome to the third lecture on module 1 that is to find the pedal equation of a polar curve before proceeding to the pedal equation let us derive an equation to find the length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent consider a polar curve students which is represented by r is equal to f of theta let p be any point lying on the polar curve whose coordinates are given by r comma theta where r is the radius vector and theta is the angle inclined or you can also call it as an vectorial angle and let pt be the corresponding tangent passing through the point p the angle made by the tangent with respect to the initial line ox is xi the angle made by the radius vector and that of the tangent passing through the point let me call it as phi now let me draw a perpendicular from the pole to the tangent t and call the perpendicular distance as p don't confuse the perpendicular distance p with that of the point over here students the point i have taken it as the capital letter p whereas the perpendicular distance from the pole to the tangent i have taken it as small p okay so from the figure or in the triangle opt in order to understand it in a better way i have just taken a section of it okay just consider the triangle opt what is sin phi from this sin phi is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse right so the opposite side is ot divided by op and the distance ot that is the distance from the pole to the tangent t we have taken the distance as p and op is nothing but the radius vector so just rearranging the above equation i get p is equal to r into sin phi so this is a relation that relates the perpendicular distance from the pole to the tangent radius vector and that of the angle between the radius vector and the tangent passing through the point the relation is very important students just make a note of it now let us prove the result 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power 4 into dr by d theta whole square just make a note of it students where your p over here indicates the length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent and r is the radius vector from the previous slide we know that the length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent is given by the equation p is equal to r into sin phi where phi is the angle made by the radius vector and that of the tangent passing through the point then 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into sin square phi and we know that 1 by sin square phi is cosecant square phi we also know the result cosecant square phi minus cot square phi is equal to 1 so using that result i can write cosecant square phi as 1 plus cot square phi right the angle between the radius vector and that of the tangent passing through any point on the polar curve is given by tan phi is equal to r into d theta by dr isn't it so what is cot phi then cot phi is nothing but just take the reciprocal of this that is 1 by r into dr by d theta let me use this result so that the above equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus i'm just replacing cot phi by 1 by r into dr by d theta so that it is of the form 1 by r square into dr by d theta whole square multiplying 1 by r square to the terms inside the brackets 
so that the equation is of the form 1 by r square plus 1 by r to the power 4 into dr by d theta whole square. Hence the proof. Now let us learn pedal equation of a polar curve. Representing a curve, any polar curve in terms of P and R is nothing but an pedal equation. What is your P students? P is nothing but the length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent and R is the corresponding radius vector. So, representing any polar curve in terms of P and R is called a pedal equation or in short I can say that the equations containing only P and R is nothing but an pedal equation. Now let me see or let me find the procedure to get the pedal equation of a polar curve. In order to find the pedal equation of any polar curve, it is necessary to find the ratio R1 by R. Where your R1 is nothing but dr by d theta and use this ratio in the equation 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square and try to eliminate theta from this e expression or from this equation. Using the given curve, you are going to eliminate theta from the equation 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square so that the resultant curve will be a curve or will be an equation in terms of p and r only. Okay, let me explain clearly with an example. Here is the first example students that is to find the pedal equation of r is equal to a into 1 minus sin theta where a over here is an arbitrary constant. As I have already told, in order to find the pedal equation of a polar curve, we have to use the expression 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square, right? So, let me first find the ratio r1 by r. Consider the given curve r is equal to a into 1 minus sin theta. Differentiating the curve with respect to theta so that R1 is equal to A into what is the derivative of 1 minus sin theta students? It is minus cos theta. Now compute the ratio R1 by R. Just substitute R1 and R and cancel the arbitrary constant so that R1 by R reduces to minus cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta. Now let me use this ratio in the expression. 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square. Substituting r1 by r so that the above equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus minus cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta whole square. Just remember students what is a pedal equation? Pedal equation is nothing but an equation containing only P and R, isn't it? But observe the equation, it consists of the variable theta, right? You have to somehow eliminate the variable theta using the given equation. So, let me simplify the equation so that I can use the given curve and eliminate the variable theta. So, so, the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus. It is of the form cos square theta divided by 1 minus sin theta whole square, right? Cos square theta, can I write it as 1 minus sin square theta? I can because we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. And just observe students, 1 minus sin square theta, can I write it as product of? 1 minus sin theta into 1 plus sin theta. Observe that 1 minus sin square theta is of the form a square minus b square. What is the expansion of a square minus b square? It is a minus b into a plus b, right? I have just used that formula and written it as the product of 1 minus sin theta into 1 plus sin theta. So that one of the term 1 minus sin theta cancels with the denominator 
and the equation reduces to the form One by p square is equal to one by r square into one plus one plus sine theta divided by one minus sine theta. Just take the common denominator and simplify it so that it reduces to the form one by r square into two divided by one minus sine theta. Is it a pedal equation, students? It's not a pedal equation because the variable theta is not eliminated over here, right? So let me eliminate the variable theta using the given expression itself. What is the given polar curve, students? The given polar curve is r is equal to a into one minus sine theta, right? What is sine one minus sine theta from this? It is nothing but r by a, right? I'm just substituting one by one minus sine theta by r by a. Is it a pedal equation now? Yes, it is a pedal equation because the variable theta is eliminated over here. Or I can rewrite the same expression as 2a by r cube. Okay. So just cross multiplying the terms, students, so that r cube will be equal to 2a into p square is the required pedal equation of the given curve, the given polar curve. R is equal to a into 1 minus sine theta. Okay. Next example, that is to find the pedal equation of r to the power n is equal to a to the power n into cos n theta. Where you are a to the power n over here is a constant. As I have already told you, in order to find the pedal equation of the curve, first we need to find the ratio r1 by r, isn't it? So let me just to differentiate the given curve, the given polar curve. With respect to theta, so that the equation is of the form. What is the differentiation of r to the power n with respect to theta, students? It is n into r to the power n minus 1 into differentiation of r with respect to theta. That is nothing but r1. That is equal to a to the power n, which is a constant. So, keep it as it is differentiation of cos n theta with respect to theta. What is the derivative of cos n theta? It is minus sin n theta into n. Cancelling n and observing that r to the power n minus 1 can be written as r to the power n divided by r. So that the ratio r1 by r is equal to minus a to the power n sin n theta divided by r to the power n. Okay. But what is your r to the power n? r to the power n is nothing but from the given equation. It is a to the power n into cos n theta, right? Now cancelling the constants and observing that sin by cos is nothing but tan, right? Therefore, the ratio r1 by r is equal to minus tan n theta. Now, substituting this ratio in the equation, 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square. So, that the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus minus tan n theta whole square is nothing but plus tan square n theta, isn't it? What, what is 1 plus tan square theta students? It is nothing but secant square theta. Observing that result so that 1 plus tan square n theta will be equal to secant square n theta. Secant square n theta, can I write it as 1 divided by cos square n theta? I can because we know that the secant is the reciprocal of cos, right? So observing that secant is a reciprocal of cos, so that the equation can be rewritten as 1 by r square into cos square n theta. So just cancelling or taking the square root on both the sides and cross multiplying the terms. Okay. So that you get p is equal to r into cos n theta. Okay. Over here it is 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into cos square n theta. Right. 
So just taking uh, cross multiplying the terms and taking the square roots on both the sides, we get p is equal to r into cos n theta. But what do you know cos n theta from the given curve? Cos n theta is nothing but r to the power n divided by a to the power n, isn't it? Now whether theta is eliminated over here, students? Yes, theta is eliminated, right? So, the equation is independent of the variable theta. Therefore, this equation or I can also rewrite the equation as just cross multiplying the terms so that you get p into a to the power n is equal to r to the power n plus 1 is the required pedal equation of the given curve r to the power n is equal to a to the power n into cos n theta. Hope it is clear to you. Next polar curve, r is equal to m theta, where your m is a constant over here. Consider the given curve, r is equal to m theta. Let me differentiate it with respect to theta, so that the equation reduces to the form. What is the derivative of r? Differentiation of r is r1, which is equal to differentiation of m theta, with respect to theta is m itself. Since you are r1 or dr by d theta is independent of theta, let me directly substitute it in the equation 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square so that the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus m by r whole square on simplification the expression reduces 1 by r square into r square plus m square divided by r square. Is it a pedal equation students? Yes, it is a pedal equation, isn't it? Because the equation is independent of the variable theta over here. Or I can just take the cross multiplication of it, just cross multiplying the terms or else you can even write this expression itself, okay? Even this expression is also the pedal equation of the given curve. Or you can also write it in the simplified form. What is the simplified form of the given above expression? It is r to the power 4 is equal to r square plus m square into p square. Okay, that completes the problem. Next problem. That is to find the pedal equation of the curve r into 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 into a. Where your a is a constant over here. Let me first find the ratio r1 by r students. Consider the given curve. Differentiate the given curve with respect to theta so that the equation reduces to the form. Over here I am applying the product rule. So, differentiation of r with respect to theta that is r1 into the second function as it is plus r into derivative of 1 minus cos theta. What is the differentiation of 1 minus cos theta students? It is sin theta, right? So, let me rearrange the terms in order to get the ratio r1 by r so that r1 by r is equal to minus sin theta divided by 1 minus cos theta. Let me substitute it in the equation. 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square. So, by substituting, the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus sin square theta by 1 minus cos theta whole square what is your sin square theta in terms of cos theta students? I can write it as 1 minus cos square theta, right? And observe that 1 minus cos square theta is of the form a square minus b square whose expansion is a, a minus b into a plus b, right? So, I am expressing 1 minus cos square theta as a product of 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta and cancelling one of the term with the denominator so that the equation reduces to the form. One by p square is equal to one by r square into one plus one plus cos theta divided by one minus cos theta. 
taking the common denominator and simplifying so that the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 2 divided by 1 minus cos theta. From the given equation, what is the given equation students? r into 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2a, right? From the given equation, can I write 1 minus cos theta as 2 by r? I can. Just substituting 1 minus cos theta as 2 by r and simplifying it so that the equation reduces to the form 1 by a into r which is a pedal equation, isn't it? Whether theta is eliminated over here? Yes, theta is eliminated. Therefore, I can say that the pedal equation of the given curve r into 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 into a is p square is equal to a into r. To find the pedal equation of r to the power m is equal to a to the power m into cos m theta plus sin m theta. Consider the curve students and let me differentiate the curve with respect to theta so that the equation is of the form. What is the differentiation of r to the power m with respect to theta? It is m into r to the power m minus 1 into differentiation of r with respect to theta that is r1. That is equal to a to the power m into differentiation of cos m theta plus sin m theta. What is the differentiation of cos m theta? It is minus sin m theta into m plus differentiation of sin m theta is cos m theta into m. Cancelling the constants m on both the sides and observing that r to the power m minus 1 can be written as r to the power m divided by r. Therefore, the ratio r1 by r is equal to just dividing this equation by r to the power n and observing that r to the power m is a to the power m into cos m theta plus sin m theta. Therefore, the ratio r1 by r reduces to the form a to the power m into cos m theta minus sin m theta divided by a to the power m into cos m theta plus sin m theta cancelling the constants a to the power m and dividing the numerator and denominator by cos m theta so that the equation reduces to the form 1 minus tan m theta divided by 1 plus tan m theta which is nothing but tan of pi by 4 minus m theta, isn't it? I have written r1 by r in a simplified form over here. Substituting the ratio in the equation 1 by, r squ 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square so that the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus tan square pi by 4 minus m theta. What is 1 plus tan square theta students? 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but secant square theta, right? So, just observe here 1 plus tan square pi by 4 minus theta. So, I can write it as secant square pi by 4 minus theta. Anyways, I have to eliminate theta over here from using the given expression to get the required pedal equation. So, continuing the problem. And from the previous slide, secant square pi by 4 minus m theta can be written as 1 by cos square pi by 4 minus m theta, isn't it? And just cross multiplying the terms and taking the square roots, positive square roots, so that p is equal to r into cos of pi by 4 minus m theta. What is cos of a minus b students? Cos of a minus b is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b, isn't it? Using that result, cos of pi by 4 minus m theta can be written as cos of pi by 4 into cos m theta plus sin of pi by 4 into sin m theta. What is cos of pi by 4? And sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2, okay? Which I have taken it outside the brackets and just observe the 
terms inside the brackets I have to somehow eliminate theta over here. So, can I write cos m theta plus sin m theta as r to the power m by a to the power m? I can, right? Therefore, substituting cos m theta plus sin m theta as r to the power m divided by a to the power m so that the variable theta eliminated over here. So, I can say that this is the required pedal equation of the given polar curve in a simplified form I can just write it as r into r to the power m is nothing but r to the power m plus 1 divided by a to the power m into root 2 therefore the pedal equation of the given polar curve is r to the power m plus 1 divided by a to the power m into root 2 that completes the problem Next polar equation r to the power n is equal to a to the power n into sin n theta plus b to the power n into cos n theta. Let us find the pedal equation of this polar curve. Consider the curve, the given curve. Let me differentiate the given curve with respect to theta. So what is the differentiation of r to the power n students? It is n into r to the power n minus 1 into r1 which is equal to a to the power n as it is and just differentiate sin n theta. What is the differentiation of sin n theta? It is cos n theta into n plus b to the power n into differentiation of cos n theta. Derivative of cos n theta is minus sin n theta into n. Just cancelling n on the both the sides of the equation and observing that r to the power n minus 1 I can write it as r to the power n by r so that the ratio r1 by r just divide the whole equation by r to the power n over here and observe r to the power n I can write it as a to the power n sin n theta plus b to the power n cos n theta therefore the ratio r1 by r reduces to the form a to the power n cos n theta minus b to the power n sin n theta divided by a to the power n sin n theta plus b to the power n cos n theta. Let me just substitute the ratio in the equation 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square and reduce the equation and try to eliminate theta from this equation. From the previous slide, 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus a to the power n cos n theta minus b to the power n sin n theta whole square divided by a to the power n sin n theta plus b to the power n cos n theta whole square. So just taking the common denominator and observing the terms. Uh, the first term of the numerator is of the form a plus b whole square right and th that of the second term is a minus b whole square. So expanding the square and observing sin square n theta plus cos square n theta is equal to 1 so that the above equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into a to the power 2n plus b to the power 2n divided by a to the power n into sin n theta plus b to the power n into cos n theta whole square. So let me now eliminate theta over here students by observing the given expression that is r to the power n is equal to a to the power n into sin n theta plus b to the power n into cos n theta. So that the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into a to the power 2n plus b to the power 2n divided by the denominator I can write it as r to the power n into square isn't it because it the given polar curve is of the form r to the power n is equal to a to the power n sin n theta plus b to the power n into cos n theta. Whether theta is eliminated over here students? Yes, theta is eliminated. So I can say that this is the required pedal equation 
of the given polar curve just simplifying it so that the pedal equation of the polar curve is given by r to the power 2n plus 2 is equal to p square into a to the power 2n plus b to the power 2n that completes the problem last problem students that is to find the pedal equation of r is equal to a into e to the power theta into cot alpha consider the given curve r is equal to a into e to the power theta into cot alpha let me differentiate the curve with respect to theta so that what is the differentiation of r with respect to theta that is nothing but r1 is equal to a into e to the power theta into cot alpha what is the differentiation of e to the power theta into cot alpha it is e to the power theta into cot alpha into the differentiation of theta cot alpha with respect to theta that is nothing but cot alpha right therefore the ratio r1 by r is equal to the substitute r1 as well as r so that the ratio reduces to the form cot alpha substituting it in the equation 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus r1 by r whole square so that the equation reduces to the form 1 by r square into 1 plus cot square alpha whether this equation is independent of theta over here students yes it is independent of theta right so i can say that this is the required pedal equation of the given polar curve but let me simplify it to a simpler form can i write 1 plus cot square alpha as cosecant square alpha and observe that cosecant square alpha i can write it as 1 by sin square alpha because cosecant is a reciprocal of sin right cross multiplying the terms and taking the square root so that the pedal equation of the given polar curve is p is equal to r into sin alpha that completes the problem as a part of an exercise just try to get the pedal equation of the following polar curves thank you